Let's talk about receiving in an Eclipse RF warehouse environment. If you haven't seen the video picking with Eclipse RF, then be sure to check that out as this is video two about the RF warehouse. This is your everything queue. Be sure this widget's on your home screen. You'll use it every day of your job. Okay, back to our home screen. And as you said before, 80% of your time will be spent in these six menu paths. We already covered picking and quick pick in our previous video, so you should be good to go on those and we can mark them as done. Now let's talk about receiving and stocking our product. Receive Verify is your way to keep the vendors honest. You double check their shipments. Replenishments are loved by the marketing and sales teams because this is where you can find what has been sold out of the showroom and what needs to be restocked easily. Both of these can use the receive put away process as a step saver. You don't want to make 50 trips to the showroom, so instead you receive or replenish 50 products into a cart and then you push that cart to the showroom and in one trip you put away all 50 items. And finally, location maintenance is a tool that gives you more information about products. Believe it or not, knowing picking so well from the first video, the rest of these are going to be easy. So let's press Control V to dive into the receive verify. It becomes readily apparent that we have four main sections of this screen. Knowing where the cursor is helps you know what to do next. Since we're in the product field, we need to scan a barcode. A window will pop open with a valid item scan. In this case, there's only one item that we can possibly process. It's a purchase order. I know that because it starts with a P. You could also have transfers that start with a T or returns from customers that start with an S for sales order as well. Once you select your line, you'll have to decide if you want to receive all items or just part of the items. Most of the time, you just choose all and move on. Scan your first item you find, count how many you have in the shipment, and enter the quantity that you received. Notice now that our cursor is in the location section. It wants a final destination or a temporary location so that it knows where the items are at all times. Here you have two options. The tote field, you can actually scan the final destination. So if you have a single item and you want to walk it to that location and scan it into that location, you're done. Or if you have a bunch of items to go to the same area and you want to save yourself a trip, you can scan a cart, which will have a tote number on it. And that would allow you to put a whole bunch of items into that cart or tote. And then when you're done, you use a different process to empty out that tote all at the same time. When you're done receiving all items on your shipment, remember what we're doing at the most basic level. We're verifying that what the vendor says they shipped, that what we ordered matches what the vendor actually shipped. So when you've received the entire shipment, you need to see if you forgot to scan anything or if the vendor forgot to ship something. By definitions, these items have not been verified. They're unverified. So you need to press Control plus U to see a list of open POs that still have some items not yet received. Click enter to view the items on that PO. Here you can see that there's one thing of green tape that has not been received on this PO. If you agree that you did not get that item, you press control A to back order all remaining items on this PO. Control B would allow you to choose certain items. Okay, now remember the option where you chose to put away those 30 items into a cart because they're all in the same area and you didn't want to walk a million miles in your warehouse? Receive put away is where we go to empty out that tote. From here, you can scan a label of your tote and start putting items away. Or just like in picking, you can type control plus S and manually select the tote you want to put away. And this screen is a lot like selecting an order and picking. So hit enter to select your tote. Back to this screen and you see the first item populate on the description field, which means you're ready to scan that item. And then you'll have to put it away in the location where it tells you. Now, you may be asking, how does it know what item to have you put away next? Well, your setup team has already told Eclipse the most efficient picking path for your warehouse. For example, from the back of the building to the front of the building. And so the system will keep asking you to scan the next product in the most efficient route. But we all know in real life that you may have a pile on top of that cart and you just have to put away the items on top first before you can get to the most efficient route. So if that is the case, you do have the option to direct the put away yourself by hitting Control D. At that point, the item will disappear and the system will let you scan any item on your cart and put it away in the order that you choose. Okay, let's talk about replenishments. Control E to open up that. Again, just like picking, Control S to select the pick. Press Enter to select your task. And now you'll see the items one by one that you get to put away. This is a lot like the picking and receiving processes, but there's one big difference to note. In Receive Verify, there's only one line under where it tells you to put the location away at. It says tote, but you can scan either a tote or a final location. However, in replenishments, you must choose tote or put away location before you scan the location barcode. 
If you have a cursor in the tote field, it doesn't matter if you scan a tote or the final location, the system assumes you built a tote and it will make you go into the receive put away process we just talked about to finish the replenishment. This is great if, for example, you're in the back of the warehouse and you have a bunch of items to take to the showroom. But what if you only have a couple of items to replenish? What if you're going from an overstock location, which is up high, to a primary location, which is down low, they're so close together, you do not want to use a cart. In that case, you simply arrow down to the put location field and scan the final location. Doing it this way allows you to skip the receive put away process. All right, back to the home screen and let's hit control L to go into the location maintenance tool. Here you can see if you have the product stored in multiple locations, as well as the count for each location. If the location is a primary, secondary, floating, or remnant, you can also see the stock type, such as defective, overshipment, stock. And if you want to change your view, you have a few more options. Hit control V to look at your view options. In fact, let's do that quick. And since we just talked about replenishments, let's change ours to replenishment view. With this view, you can see what the minimum and maximum quantities are for replenishment purposes. This is a great view if you're out in the showroom and you decide you want to stock more or less of an item in the showroom. It allows you to change those quantities on the fly without being at your computer. One last tip, whether you're in location maintenance, picking, or receiving, when looking at an item, there's a hidden menu path you can access by pressing Control Q. Don't worry about it on day one, but trust me, those pickup IDs, the future ledger, and other options will one day be very useful to you. There you go. You now know how to complete 80% of your Eclipse generated tasks in the warehouse.